So this is uh, an adventure for them to be here. And Pastor Brian is uh, pastoring a, a Pentecostal church in, uh, in Trinidad. And uh, Clifton and his wife are teachers. Praise the Lord. It is so great to be here in Greenland. It took many miracles for us to be here today. We are a missionary group. We go to those countries where the gospel needs to be preached. Now, according to the figures that we read, they say Greenland is 98% Christians. The Bible says, except a man be born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. When we look at Greenland, we see that it's only about 5% of Greenlandic people that are born again. Yes. They have heard about Jesus, but how many of them have a relationship with God? God is so good. God wants people to hear about Jesus Christ. When Jesus died on the cross, he died for all of mankind. 40% of the world has not even heard of the name of Jesus. That's close to 3 billion people are still waiting to hear about Jesus Christ. Why is it that after 2,000 years of Christianity, almost half of the world has not heard the gospel? The responsibility of reaching the world belongs to the Christians. That means you and I. We know the true and living God, and we have no excuse 
to tell all those who are around you, your friends, your family, your co-workers, your neighbor, anyone you meet. It is not by coincidence because God has a purpose for our life and only what is done for Christ will last. You must now stand in Greenland with the understanding that God is standing with you. You must be able to know to stand for righteousness regardless of the consequences. <coughs> you must live an example. You must be an example to the unbelievers. Let them know the true way of Christ. <laughs> the people out there have no hope. We have the hope, you have the hope, and you must give them that hope without wavering. Today you are without excuse. There is no reason why you cannot do a great work for God. Help me to stand in the midst of persecution. So your name will be glorified. It was a very good surprise. And it would be a little bit hard for us to, to express it. Our joy, our joy is, is great. Yeah. 
I am sure that you have been touched in the very heart of Greenland. Many of the Greenlanders who have been listened to you have been touched very deeply. Clifton and, and your wife Betty. It is a great, uh, very good picture of your honoring your pastor. And we have learned of it. And it is wonderful to have brothers and sisters from Caribbean. And we look forward to, to see you again. Well, we are very blessed by this visit, with this very special visit, where we have listened to a good encouragement to us believers how to reach out to, to the rest of Greenland. It is, it is very important that you have been touched our lives with your, with your freedom, how, how you want to, to, to touch other, other people. Mm. We believe that this has been a, a very good encouragement to all of the Christians mm. here in our church. So thank you very much. Mm. What I would like to thank you for was uh, the passion that uh, we felt in, in the message that you brought to us. Uh, share the gospel with your um, citizens, with your, your fellow uh, Greenland uh, people. And uh, I think that uh, <clears throat> that will stay with us, this message, and uh, I will, I will um, use it in my preaching and in teaching in the church, and I uh, just talk with uh, others uh, from the church too. This uh, made an impact in their lives. It's good for, for the Greenlandic church also to, to see that they have brothers and sisters all around the world. And by the power of God, we will be able to, to spread, spread the gospel all over even to the ends of Greenland. Greetings to the mission organization Pioneer World Missions and uh, the leader. Uh, thank you for sending your people here. <laughs> Hi, this is Pioneers in Greenland and we've come here for one reason and that is to reach the unreached. We want to thank all those for giving and supporting to let you know that we are doing this one command to reach those who've never heard the gospel before. Thank you for giving. Thank you for sending us. I do look forward to your continued support.